do odor-proof bags really work? At Barry Law Firm, we've represented hundreds of individuals stopped on the interstate and charged with transporting or trafficking narcotics. One of the questions that often comes up is that the person who was stopped had this marijuana, methamphetamine, or cocaine in odor-proof bags. They're stopped by law enforcement. The drug dog is brought out and the dog allegedly indicates to the odor of narcotics. So the question we get is, well, do these bags work? In a laboratory setting, they absolutely work. The problem is, it's not really much of a defense. In fact, drug dogs often indicate to the odor of narcotics, regardless of whether narcotics are present. And so if there is any contamination from the narcotics, whether it be on an individual's clothes or the outside of these odor-proof bags, the dog will indicate to it. Now from our position on the defense, we go back to the beginning. Was the dog properly trained? And did the dog actually indicate to the odor of narcotics? Or did the officer cue the dog in a way that the dog exerted the behavior that appeared to be an indication of the odor of narcotics? If you've been stopped on the interstate and you feel your vehicle has been unlawfully searched, contact the criminal defense attorneys at Barry Law Firm.